Well, I've decided on a project to put in this box. Remember, I bought this as a donor chassis. Um, it's got a great power supply in it. And um, let me uh, show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the front panel, <laughs> have that all, uh, all removed. I'm going to put something in there. And uh, let me show you the power supply again. Uh, I don't think I showed you the whole, the cool part about the power supply. I, think I found out a little bit late. Let me, uh, let me move the camera. Uh, so the cool thing about the power supply is you pull this ring and this card comes out and that's the power supply on a card. That's really cool. So um, this big capacitor down here is for the uh, 5 volts and these are for the plus and minus 15 volts. Um, and the 5 volt regulator is over here and it's a... It's good to five amps. That's pretty cool. I don't know what kind of regular they, what kind of regular they have. That was good for five amps. Maybe it's uh, just a pass transistor. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's just a pass transistor. Um, so the card is really cool. It's got three fuses on it. So it's got a half amp fuse for 15, a half amp fuse for minus 15, and a five amp fuse for five volts. And it's all little, uh, all on a little self-contained card. That is really cool. Flip that down. So the power supply comes out the. Uh, uh oh, it's coming apart. It comes out over here. I put some labels on here, but uh, there's uh, feed throughs. Feed throughs here on the uh, aluminum for plus five and plus minus fifteen. But anyway, it's very very cool. And it's like I said, it's all in the self contained little box here. And the, uh, let's see, can you see that? The lighting's not really good. The, the uh, on off switch is down there. And so there's this, there's this button here that, that reaches in and, and turns that on and off. So that's, that's how it gets out here to the, uh, to the front panel. Anyway, so that's cool. But uh, what I'm going to do with the, uh, with the box is put this in it. Um, so what is that? Let me, uh, let me rearrange things here so I can show you what I got. So, uh, these are quite old chips now and they're no longer manufactured and you're lucky if you, if you get a hold of one. Uh, I found it got on eBay selling them pretty cheap. They were used. So perfect, right? And um, still, they're twenty dollars. So even used, they're expensive. They were they were quite expensive back in the day. Um, the LH0033 and LH0036. Now the 33 came in this funny little package, and had a limited amount of circuitry and performance. And the LH0063 came in a TO3 can, and had lots more circuitry and lots more performance. So. This chip is a buffer chip. That's all it does, just one-to-one, -one, just buffering. But take a look at the specs. Um, 6,000 volts per microsecond. Now that is slew rate. <laughs> think about that, 6,000 volts per microsecond. So that's six volt per nanosecond. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's really screaming. Um, so it is cool. And it doesn't care whether you drive capacitance loads. It just doesn't care. Input impedance is 10 to the 10th. So it's a really, really cool chip. And uh, it comes in, uh, oops, comes in this weird, um, weird package here. It's a TO3 cam, but it's got lots of leads on the back. So, so here it is. It's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leads on the back. So I had to take a uh, TO, uh, TO3 seat sink and mill out a hole in it so I can get to all of the pins. Now, the only thing you really need to hook up is this. Um, there's an input pin and an output pin. There's a plus 12 pin and a minus 12 pin. And then there's another 12 volt pin and a minus 12 volt pin. And you can just short those together. You can just be done with it. But uh, if you want to make it current limited, so that, that has no current limiting at all. And if you accidentally short something out, you're going to destroy this device and they're expensive. So 
they thought about that and they put in place two different uh, power supply pins and you can put in a current limiting resistor between them. So uh, this particular chip I'm going to put in a 50 ohm uh, current limiting resistor on the two power supplies. Let me show you um, let me show you exactly what the uh, circuit looks like. Let's see. Does this, God. Does this one have... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so this is the uh, circuit for the uh, LH0063. So it has uh, FET inputs and they drive a differential uh, resist, uh, transistor and then they have these two um, double emitter uh, transistors on the outputs and they're all balanced here with this with this network. So it's got about a six ohm, four, four to six ohm output impedance. And then here are the two pins. So you can just short them together. And so uh, you can have this circuit operate off of the rails. And then if you put a current limiting resistor here, you're just limiting that very, very last totem pole output. So I'm going to put those 50 ohms in there. Um, and then, uh, and then you can do things like drive, drive capacitance loads. You can drive um, coax. Uh, the bandwidth is really high. I think you can get 100 megahertz through it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So I thought, okay, I'll make a buffer. And uh, so I've started on it. So this is going to be, uh, that's going to be the thing. I need to figure out how I mount it in here. But I'm going to put it in here and hook it up to the plus or minus uh, plus or minus 15, and uh, we'll just uh, flywire uh, those resistors on the back, and then uh, on the front, uh, on the front panel here. In fact, we'll just go over here. Uh, I'll have a, a BNC here and a BNC here. I already have holes in the front. I'll have to make a little washer here um, to make the hole smaller, but uh, have an input and an output. And uh, yeah, it'll be a really cool, uh, really cool buffer.